Hello everyone and welcome to another week of the CCT 52 challenge. I'm going to roll the dice. Green is what I'm making. Red is the how many prompts I need to pull out. And this is for week number 10. Let's see what we've got. We are making five an embellishment which is a tang Ta ooh, tab dangle paper clip etc now you don't have to do like exactly you know tab dangle or paper clip but an embellishment type wise and we only need two prompts this week so that is good got all my prompts in here so let's draw something out and see what we get there is one and uh, i got a whole bunch in that hand there is two, so we need a hand and a key. That shouldn't be too hard. So we will see. I'm going to go and gather up these two items, give it some thought to what I'm going to make, and then I'll be right back to show you what we are making for week number two okay so I've gathered up my goodies and I'm sure that you can see that I plan on making a dangle I've got a bunch of my pliers these are just really cheap set I think they came from Michaels and I got to get some new ones the wire cutters are all really rough and everything but anyways I happen to have a cute little hand charm thing that's got a hole, so I've got a bead to put in that hole. I've got my key. I've got a jump ring. I've got a head pin. And I have a bulb pin or garment pin, they call them as well. Very easy project this time. Very, very easy. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the head off of this head pin because of the fact I want to have a loop on both ends. So I'm going to see if I can't. There we go. It's hoping it wouldn't go flying. And this isn't going to really be a video on how to make a charm. I'm just going to make a loop on the one end to start with. I am definitely no expert on jewelry making or stuff like that. I know enough to get by. I'm going to thread this hand on first. Now I've got to hold this and try to put the bead oops, in here. This could be fun. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing because my chubby little hands are in the way, but I'm trying to turn the bead so the hole is going in the right direction. And I can't really see either, so it's uh, by guess and by golly type of thing. And so far it's just not working out. That's Okay, maybe. Seems like every time I move, it turns, of course, the wrong way. There we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have that kind of like so. See if I can't make 
put that a little more in the center. There we go. That's a bit better. And now I'm going to make a loop on the bottom. Now the first thing I want to do is cut this shorter. And for myself, when I'm making my beaded dangles and stuff, when I'm making a loop, I put my fingers like that, kind of up against my project. And then I put my wire cutters up against my finger, and that's about the distance I like for a loop. But that, that's just me. And that's probably not quite a half an inch. And then I'm going to break that off. Let's put that in the garbage so I don't end up losing it, stepping on it. Bend that over. Bring this up. And make my loop. And as I say, for me, that's, that seems to be about right now. Of course, for you, it's going to depend on how big you want your loop and all that fun stuff. I want my loops to kind of be the same way. So I am just going to use two pair of pliers. <clears throat> and then there we have that. But I want this kind of bent. Okay. And then we have a jump ring, which we will open it up. You don't want to pull it open, you want to bend it open like so. Let's put that on there. And then we're going to put our key on there. I am interested to see what you guys are going to do for week number 10. Make sure that that's pushed together nice. And then I'm not happy with this one on the top. I want to close it just a little bit more. In other words, the ball pin's just going to fall off. I want it to be closed. And now a bulb pin is always a great way to attach these. Quick, easy, simple. So there we have our little charm. We've got our hand. We've got our key. This was the easiest week by far. And I think it might be the easiest week ever. Let's move this over here and I've decided I'm going to put it on this because I think it's just going to go together with the whole color um, and whatnot. I'm thinking just attaching it right, you know what, change my mind, I'm going to attach it right onto this paper clip. Just like that. Doesn't really need the bulb pin on there. And that gives just a little extra something to that pocket. I kind of like it. Simple, easy, quick. And I've used hand and key. So that takes care of week number 10. I think that's the week we're on. Yep, we're on week number 10. And I look forward to seeing what you make. I know a lot of you are following the prompts that I do. And a lot of you are rolling the dice and taking your chances on what you get. Either way, perfect. No rules just guidelines 
check out the other um, challenge videos. And we will see you again soon. Bye.